So before, I just wanted to give a little context. The reason I got sent to the quarantine dorms is because my seatmate tested positive and obviously as her seatmate, I had to get sent over. But the messed up thing is she got sent in last Monday and then got released like on Sunday. So she was here for six days. Less than 24 hours after she left, they called me and were like, hey, we have space in Foothill now, you have to move in. And I'm here for longer than the person who tested positive. And also my sweet mate never apologized for, you know, I mean, not. I'm not saying it's her fault, but I'm not saying it's like not her fault. That being said, a benefit of being here is that I don't have to see her every day, so. <laughs> Okay, so I'm waiting for the bus to come pick me up and they said on this one street, but I don't really know my streets So I kind of just exited my building and <laughs> hoping for the best so fingers crossed Okay, so my bus just arrived and so essentially when you open the door you get this It's like a common little area and then there's like four other rooms here, but this is a bathroom It looks like like literal horror movie stuff like it's kind of disgusting like it look, oh gosh, this is my room. Not decorated, kind of small, kind of old, kind of janky. Yesterday I slept without bedding because we just, I just didn't bring it because I was kind of dumb and I forgot it in my room. So my mom shipped bedding today and I'm off to go pick it up. So they gave me like a cart to take it back and this is the packages. But low key, my dorm is up the stairs and there's no elevator okay low key it's not bad here <laughs> they gave me this instant coffee right and then sugar and milk and a kettle <laughs> also i'm just so incredibly so incredibly grateful for my mom, my dad, my sister, and all my friends who checked in on me when I was here. Cause obviously I'm at Foothill, things aren't great on the surface, but my mom literally shipped me this bedding from Target just because, you know, she didn't want me sleeping, not without bedding. And it was, and then she shipped me a bunch of snacks too. And literally this actually like made my day. Okay, snack haul. <laughs> so there's pretzel, Pretzel and chips, which I also really like. And then, oh, Chex Mix, which I also love. And then, oh my gosh, Cashew Cranberry Almond Trail Mix. I'm very excited. Haven't had cashews, cranberries, or almonds in a long time. And then, also cuties. Wow, I haven't had fruit in so long. I don't even have room to put this because she got me so much. And then, Oh my gosh, I love brownies. Brownies are literally my favorite thing ever. So I'm very, very, very excited. And then fruit strips. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then, and then <gasps> iced coffee. <laughs> Yesterday was my mom's birthday and I'm supposed to be the one spoiling her, but she literally got coffee delivered to like my dorm. And then this whole bag of like treats. And like, I'm just opening it now, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, we don't need to open that one. <laughs> okay, so <gasps> she got me this like chocolate bun. It looks really good and I also love chocolate. And then also <gasps> chocolate bread. And then <gasps> a sandwich. It looks like this. And then also, Another sandwich. I'm so happy. No, because she texted me and was like, oh, I was trying to send you a cake, like a slice of cake so we can all eat it together. But then they wouldn't let me send a slice of cake. So she was like, oh, so like I said something else to send my Okay, taste test time. Okay, so I don't really have a straw, but I really want to try this coffee. Oh, that is so good. I'm going to try this chocolate bun. It's so soft too. I think I'm in love. This is so good. Yay! I didn't think I could get better, but it got better. There's chocolate cream on the inside too. <laughs> this is the second one, or no, third one, because I had the sandwich yesterday. But this is like a chocolate croissant, and it seems really good. Mm. 
There's chocolate inside. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, so I really, really, really hate spiders and I literally cannot deal with them. But basically, my first day here, there's two showers. So I was like in the first shower because this looked cleaner. And then I was showering and I turned around and there's like a big spider on the floor. It was like this big. And I was like, oh no. And I literally like, I got like paper towels and I like, like covered it. And then I like stomped on it with my shoe so it wouldn't like the dead spider guts wouldn't be on my shoe and I wouldn't have to like deal with it directly. But then there was the issue of there being a dead spider in my shower. So I was like, great, we'll just switch showers. And so I switched showers to the other one, turned around, there's a big spider on the ceiling. And I was like, oh no, you're kidding. But since it was on the ceiling I was like maybe I'll be okay so I just like I'll just keep an eye on it and like you know shower quickly and get out but then what happened is I turned around there's another spider on the other wall I was literally the quickest shower I've ever taken and I was just like I was trying to keep an eye on both spiders and I was like washing out my hair at the same time and then I like dipped and then basically like obviously I can't shower now because both of my showers are like contaminated so then today I was texting the isolation coordinator and then literally <laughs> she came and then cleaned and killed the other spiders <laughs> and so like now we're good I saw a little treat because yesterday I had like kind of a really terrible day and so I decided to treat myself because it was a bad day but we got through it we survived so I got myself a brown sugar ooh, a brown sugar latte with boba and I got myself a large because I was like you know what like I think I deserve it oh, it smells so good I got food too and thank goodness they packed a straw because I don't have straw okay so I got popcorn chicken and it has like minced pork over rice so it's like popcorn chicken and like a little fat and the first time I went back into shower one I turned around there's like a spider in a spider web so I was like okay you know what whatever there's a second shower and this seems like very deja vu kind of thing and yesterday i got in the shower i turned around the biggest one yet it was like this big like in the corner just just doing its own thing and so i tried dropping a cup on it and then it ran the spider ran so i was like if you boil something will it still survive and like probably not right so i got a cup of boiling water and then i literally boiled a spider alive and it was so satisfying it was like terrifying at the same time because it was like it was like oh and then i put a cup over it and then it moved because of the water and i was so scared and then like like earlier today there was another spider like on the heater and then so i was like you know i, I can't even afford to freak out anymore so i just like boiled that one too today's my last day at foothill and i'm finally getting ready to move back So happy to be back in my own dorm but i'm just gonna shower because i feel like i've been through some like wilderness training but <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time this is sarah signing out